I'm Laura with UC San Diego Recreation, and this is your warm-up for today. Before we get started, here are a few things to remember. So we'll have little T-Rex arms, and as we inhale, we'll hug the belly muscles in, creating a little rounding in the back. As we exhale, we'll stand up tall, lift the heart, sweep the fingers back. Inhale, curl the fingers, rounding, and exhale, arms sweep back. You might take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, maybe even sticking the tongue out as you go. So we'll do this about eight times together. Take a deep inhale, pause, rest, see how the body feels. And then we'll begin tapping the chest. You could use your fingertips to tap. You could use your fists. You might use the palms of your hands. We're never tapping so hard that it hurts. And then we'll take a moment and we'll start to tap down the outside of one arm and up the inside of that same arm, giving a little pat on the shoulder, on the neck. We'll do this three times, patting down the outside of the arm and tapping up the inside of the arm. and then we'll trade sides. So this is an energizing practice. It's a great boost to the mood, great boost to our energy. It's great for our immune system. And it's a lot of fun. We'll take it around to the back. You could use your fists, you could use the palms of your hands, gently knocking right down to the sacrum, right down to that triangular bone in your bottom patting down the back, tapping, patting. We'll start to bend the knees and pat down the backs of the legs and up the insides of the legs. Patting down the back sides of the legs. Little gentle knocks at the back. Doing a forward bend as we pat down the backs of the legs. We'll do this three times, tapping up the insides of the legs, making loose fists and gently knocking at the hips. One more time, patting at the back, tapping down the back side as we do a little forward bend, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then tapping up the insides of the legs. We'll take those loose fists to the hips and we'll spend a little more time here at the hips. We have lots of lymph nodes in this area. Patting the belly, patting the hips. Sometimes it's fun to even make little sounds. Just pause and see how the body feels. Notice the tingles. We'll come back up to the chest, tapping and patting at the chest. And then we'll bring it over underneath the armpit. We have lots of lymph nodes in this area as well. We'll do both sides, patting up and down, tapping one side and then switching over to the second side. Take a rest, notice the tingles, notice how the body feels, and we'll let the body start to bounce, full body bounce. Feet are down, we're just letting the body move, we're trying to get the head to bobble, find a little shake, laugh at yourself, let the shoulders move, and then the heels will start to move. We'll let the heels lift and rise, get that full body bounce going. Pause, notice the tingles, and then just shake it all off. Imagine a dog that just went for a swim. They get out of the water and they shake it all off, flick it all out. Taking a deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out. So we'll inhale to lift both arms out to the side and then we'll roll the shoulders back. Check the head, slide the throat back, slide the ribs back. They love to pop forward. Begin to gradually flex the fingertips down to the ground as you reach out through the heels of the hands. It's a lot. We'll let one arm drop. Turn the chin to look at the other hand. Try to keep the elbow level with the shoulder. And we may begin to turn the chin slowly in the opposite direction. You might notice that this turns it up a lot. You may want to bring the chin back to center and hold you may want to move very gently back and forth. If this is your dominant side hand, it might be really intense. Beginning to curl the fingers in, we'll make a fist 
flexing the knuckles up towards the ceiling or the sky. We'll hold for a few breaths and really slowly begin to bend the elbow. Go even slower, slow it down more. Try to keep the elbow as high as the shoulder. The knuckles may come all the way to the shoulder. Continuing to breathe, I know it's intense. Feel the breath in the body. And when your timer goes off, the letting it go, releasing the arm. So we'll repeat that on the second side. We'll inhale to lift both arms straight out to the side. Begin to roll the palms to face up and slowly press out through the heels of the hands. Check the ribs, did they flare forward? Slide them back. Dropping the arm, we didn't drop last time. Check the chin, chin may stay at center. We might begin to turn the chin gradually to the other side. Maybe this side is a little more intense. You can always keep the chin opposite. We might bring the chin back towards midline. We might very gently move back and forth just a little bit. Try to keep the wrist as high as the elbow as we begin to curl the fingers, flex the wrist, knuckles pointing up to the sky. Find the breath in the body. You might be feeling this a lot on the back line of that arm. Take your time, slowly, slowly bend the elbow, drawing the knuckles in towards the shoulder. Slow it down a little more. Notice if you want to speed through it. We all have a timer here. If we need to come out of it, we come out of it. We'll let the arm come down, take a rest, maybe give the shoulders a little roll, a little shift. Perhaps move the head a little bit. What feels good in your neck? We hold a lot of tension in the neck. Feel the body breathe. Begin to bend one elbow unfurling the fingers, thumb to pinky, one at a time as we reach the fingers up to the sky. We're looking down, finding a side bend. We'll come back to center, curl the fingers back in, reach the arm back, open the digits. Curl the digits in, extend the arms skywards, open the fingers and exhale, side bend. Inhale to center, let the elbow bend, reach the arm back, perhaps turn and look in that direction. Let the elbow bend, let's repeat one more time. Find that side bend. We'll come up and bring the hand to the back of the head, creating a rotating side bend. So as you exhale, we're curling, side bending, drawing the elbow to the opposite side. Roll it back and open with the inhale. Move with your breath, move at your own pace. Listen to what feels good in your body. As we bring the arm down, we'll sweep it in the opposite direction, drop the shoulder away from the ear. Second side, bending the elbow, unfurl the fingers from thumb to pinky, side bend. Inhale, center, let the elbow bend, curl the fingers in, reach the arm back, open the hand. Curl the fingers in, Re-extend, open the digits, and exhale, side bend. We'll inhale back up, bend the elbow, and exhale, reach that arm back. We bend the elbow as we curl the fingers, extend the fingers as we raise the arm. Finding our way into the side bend, we'll come back up and take the hand to the back of the head. Rolling the elbow over to the opposite side, finding a rotation with that side bend, rolling the elbow and head back. Listening to what feels good to you, moving with your breath at your own pace, your own rhythm. Sweeping the arm forward and across the body, look after the fingers, perhaps mobilizing the fingers. And we'll release and notice how the body feels. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. Have a great day.